No guys, I'll get you in just a minute here. Right now I'm prepping to get my hands all clean because I'm going to make some famous roast beef. And I'll show you how that's done once my water gets warm. It's off the cold. This is my new faucet. New lights above me. Nice LED. Perfect. It's finally getting warm. It takes a while. Hot water heater is way over there. The garage moves underneath here, so it tends to get pretty cold. So, let's get started and I'll show you what we need to do. Okay, there you see is you know, some roast beef here. Frozen. So what we're going to do is, just going to go and put it here. And here. Okay, so what I have to do now is, we got it on high now. So I'm going to have it on high. But what I need to do is get some water. Put some water in there so it won't burn. But, we got to put some seasoning in there too. And we'll put one more jar in there. And that'll be plenty. Alright, so now, um, I don't know if I got some real onions here. See that? It's starting to grow. Never seen an onion do that before. Cut that onion off there. It's growing there. And we're just going to put some onions in there. Probably use most of it if we can. We'll put big slices in here because I love big slices. And onions is good for you. When I, I got a cold now, so I'm going to eat an onion right now. So we're going to go and put some of this onions over in here. If I had potatoes here, I'd make roast beef, potatoes, and carrots. And it would be kind of like a stool type deal. This will be ready by tomorrow. Have the crock pot on low when I go to bed at night. Don't have to check it. Just don't put it in the oven like I used to do, like at 275. You can put it in the oven at 275 overnight, it'd be okay. But uh, if the oven starts on fire, you're kind of fucked. So. I would show you putting it in there. I'll do it afterwards, but we're gonna put the whole onion base in there because these onions are getting pretty. They're pretty spoiled. They're not spoiled, but they're gonna get spoiled here soon if I don't use them here. Onions don't last like they used to. Try one here. Not very spicy anymore. All right, and you see it's in there. There's a bunch of onions in there. You have a little bit on top there. Now, let's see if I got any seasoning salt here. Well, since I don't have any seasoning, meat seasoning, I'm just going to use onion soup mix. But don't put the whole damn thing in there. Be too salty otherwise. You can make sandwiches for quite a long time with this stuff. Now, have it set on low. And then put this cover on it. And just let it sit there. And this is on low, and just have it on low, and then I have it on this so it don't burn the counter. And uh, just keep it in there on low for, well, it's right now it's like 7 o'clock at night. Um, I usually start it at 5, it's frozen, it's like, uh, how many pounds is it? This is our cows from our farm. Beef bone in arm roast and it doesn't say how many pounds it is but I know it's probably about more than five pounds so 
it'll probably take till 12 tomorrow. So by tomorrow when I wake up, when I wake up usually about 12, if uh, you put a fork in there and it just falls off, uh, then it's pretty much done. Uh, if it looks red, it still means it's done though because put a fork in there it falls off. It's pretty much, you're not going to get it better than that. Um, as much water as I got in there, it's going to stay moist. It's not going to go dry overnight. Um, with all them onions and stuff and onion soup mix in there, I think I'm going to have onions coming out of my face. And now, after you touch the meat, you should always wash your hands. So, that's what I'm going to do right now is wash my hands. I sure love my new light up there. It's pretty bright. My new faucet and everything. It is wonderful. Uh, I finally saved enough, enough money to do some upkeep on my house. Um, paid quite a bit off on my loan. Don't don't have to do 33 years anymore. You have to do 20 years now. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. When you work and work, that's what you should do. Unlike my lazy uncle, he sits there and drinks all his life, but. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, subscribe. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll remember to uh, show the after of the video of it cooked. I'll probably forget tomorrow, knowing me. Um, right now it's pretty cold out, six above and dropping. It's supposed to get down to 20 below zero tonight, Fahrenheit. And then tomorrow's supposed to be a high of 10 below. So it's supposed to get really freaking cold. So I turned the furnace wide open. Here goes my friend by. So, Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Thunderbolt1003. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, I'll put it in the description. So, I'll probably try to put this video out tonight. It is only 7 o'clock. So, alright, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, like I said, my onion was growing a little, little ear or some sort. I would need it. Alright. And, uh,. Like I said, that new light is really freaking bright, as you can see. Really bright. See you guys later.